All right, we're continuing to watch Capitol Hill. We can show you a live picture where the FBI director, uh, Christopher Wray, uh, is going to be in the hot seat. He probably got out of that seat just a few moments ago, uh, as it appears they are taking a, a brief uh, recess uh, in this hearing as lawmakers dig deeper into the investigation of the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. In just the last several minutes, our understanding is his director, Ray, uh, did confirm some details that have been laid out by law enforcement officials over the last couple of days about uh, the number of shell casings recovered and so on. Uh, if we can, let's play a little bit of that sound of the director and talk about it on the other side. We'll send. So uh, we have recovered a drone uh, that the shooter uh, appears to have used. Uh, it's being exploited and analyzed by the FBI lab. Uh, the drone was recovered uh, in his vehicle. So at the time of the shooting, the drone was in his vehicle uh, with the controller. Uh, in addition, our investigation has uncovered do you know what time of day he flew it and if he flew it on the day of the shot? To, yeah. Oh, I'm so, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. So in addition, it appears that around uh, 3.50 p.m., 4 o'clock in that window, uh, on the day of the shooting, uh, that the shooter was flying the drone around uh, the area uh, Two hours for about 11 minutes. I want to be clear, but when I say the area, not over the, the stage and that part of the area itself, but I would say about 200 yards, give or take, away okay. from that. We, we think, but we do not know, so again, this is one of these things that's qualified because of our ongoing review, that he was live streaming, you know, viewing the footage from that again, about 11 minutes in around the 3.50, 4 o'clock p.m. range. Two hours before, he's flying a drone in the, in the vicinity of, of the yeah, route. About 200 yards away, yes. 200 yards. Okay, that's, that's important information. What, what about the bombs that we put about in, in, the, in the shooter's car? <coughs> So again, uh, the FBI lab is exploiting those uh, explosive devices. Yep. There were, uh, we've recovered three devices, two uh, in his vehicle and one back in his residence. Um, are, these, are these what you would call, your experts would call sophisticated operations or this, when we, I mean, I think, I, mean, I don't know, I, 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 that's what I've been told by yeah. people who have some understanding of this area. Yeah, I, I, I think it's, um, We've seen more sophisticated and less. I would say these are relatively, again, keyword, relatively crude devices themselves, but they did have um, the ability to be detonated remotely. And so to that point, uh, in addition to the two uh, devices that we recovered out of his vehicle, um, there were uh, receivers for those two explosive devices okay. with the devices, and then on the shooter himself, uh, when he was killed by law enforcement, uh, he had a transmitter with him. Now, I do want to add one important point here, is at the moment, it looks to us, again, ongoing review, and I can't right. say that right. too many times, at a moment, it looks like, because of the uh, on-off position on the receivers, that, that if he had tried to detonate those devices from the roof, it would not have worked, okay. but that doesn't mean the explosives weren't dangerous. And we're, I'm sure we're going to get into all these subjects uh, a little bit. All right, later there's well. the FBI director, Christopher Ray, laying out some new details, including that the uh, shooter uh, was overlooking the rally area with a drone in the hours before that assassination attempt, that he also had a couple of explosive devices and transmitters to uh, detonate those devices. I believe you just heard the uh, director say just a few moments ago that he was so far from those devices that he might not have been able to set those off. Joining us now are CNN senior justice correspondent Evan Perez, uh, retired FBI special agent Bobby Chacon, and uh, retired FBI supervisory special agent Steve Moore. Uh, gentlemen, uh, thanks so much. Uh, in addition, uh, Evan, you know, something to talk about here. In addition to what caused the security field, I mean, obviously that question is going to come up. Correct. But the FBI director is really here to lay out what they've learned in the investigation so and far. And, and we're getting some new information. Right. And yeah. remarkably, uh, you know, unlike a lot of these hearings, the FBI director came armed with information. He's right. trying to provide Unlike it. the Secret Service director. Right. He's coming. Yeah. He wants to provide answers. And you have members of Congress actually just mucking it up and, and getting in the way of him trying to answer some questions there. Uh, there's yeah. sort of interrupting him. Uh, a couple of things we've learned, uh, Jim, that uh, we know now that the, tr the shooter had a drone in his car that was recovered. They now know that uh, he flew it over like about 200 yards away from the, the site of the rally for about 11 minutes. Uh, again, uh, about from 3.50 to 4 p.m., again, about two hours before the, 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 the shooting and also,
we also know that a little bit more about the, the, the explosives that were found, some in his vehicle and in the residence. They were viable, uh, but he was wearing a device to try to trigger them. It appears that at least on the receiving end, the, 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 the explosives themselves, they were not in an on position, so, mm. so he couldn't have detonated them. Again, mm. they were viable and dangerous, of course. Uh, here's a little bit more that we heard from the FBI director uh, describing a little bit more about exactly the scene of the crime. Listen. Did Crooks fire eight shots? We have recovered uh, eight cartridges on the roof. Why was Crooks allowed to get off eight shots? Well, that, I think, is something we're still digging into. And, uh, you know, again, eight shots. This is an AR-15, so it doesn't take a lot of, a lot of time for that. That's, we're talking right. about, uh, you know, seconds for, that, for those eight shots to go. And we know that he was being pursued by law enforcement. They looked up on the roof. They saw him. Uh, that may have uh, hurried him up in, 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 in perhaps... Uh, you know, prevented him from carrying out an even lar larger mass uh, killing at that yeah. rally. Yeah, and Steve, I, I do want to ask you about this because uh, Evan is exactly right. We did get some new information, and one of the things that I just can't get over is the fact that this uh, shooter was able to fly a drone over the rally site for 11 minutes. I mean, I've covered a lot of rallies over the years, I mean, going back uh, uh, too long, and I just can't imagine uh, that that kind of thing being allowed to happen it just it just strikes me as just being nuts yeah it's um you know first of all you'd wonder well how soon does security get there before the rally i i can't imagine yeah. them uh just showing up an hour before the rally uh they want to see who's coming uh part of the Part of the security itself is seeing who's parked nearby, uh, who's watching the place. The drone is about the most uh, blatant version of scoping out a place uh, that that I've seen. Uh, and you know, I'm kind of frustrated that it didn't bump into a Secret Service drone that was checking right. the area right. at that time. Um, I, I just, you know, in many ways. Crooks was more prepared for the event than the Secret Service was, which I hate to say because I like the agency, uh, but he seemed to be ahead of them. And if you look at this, how long he'd he been preparing? I mean, it, you can't just go down to 7-Eleven and pick up a bomb. This guy had decided on the bombs. He had decided on a remote detonation, which means he had a specific plan. Um, not to be near that car and away um and then he sc scouted out the place he surveilled it he had uh, relatively high-tech uh equipment and then he showed up on the day i can't imagine why he wouldn't have bounced into their uh into the secret services um scope long before he did yeah, you're absolutely right. And Bobby, I mean, I, I've seen the Secret Service flying drones. So they have drones up there as well. They should have been able to see this going on. And Bobby, I want to ask you about uh, some of this too. But in addition to that, we want to show this new video uh, from the Trump rally uh, day uh, on July 13th, this video released by Senator Chuck Grassley. It shows law enforcement officials after the gunman was taken down. And you can see uh, the local officers and Secret Service standing on the, the roof where the gunman was shot dead let's listen to a bit of what was said so this is the guy that, that our that, that yes the that they sent the yes beaver county yeah, sniper team and sent the pictures out this is him okay the bike okay. in the back hey, of that right is, they have is he on that bike we don't, that bike? we don't know we don't know i don't just know treating that as suspicious device oh, one second i believe the sniper that seen these and sent the pictures is right inside this building yeah bobby what are your thoughts on everything that we're learning it's, it's confusion. I mean, the, the fact that they don't know all this and he's on that route getting it just firsthand, there should have been a command post set up. Steve and I worked together in Los Angeles. We did security at events like the Rose Bowl Parade and the Grammys and the Oscars. We even traveled to Greece and helped the Greeks with the Olympics in 2004. So we know these events. We This should be better planning and coordination. He shouldn't be on that route 
asking for confirmation. That should have all been fed into a central command post, these, you know, million dollar RVs that we have set up right. with the locals and with the Secret Service. It all should have been fed in there. It, it's it's confusion and it's it just looks all sloppy to me. This video shows it. He's up there. They sent, you know, a guy up there to kind of confirm stuff that all should be known. There should be a command post with all that information being fed into it. And, and that's what this video shows me, that there was no coordination.